Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Aizong. Thanks for tuning in. After Kimberly, Rio, and Marissa, I got you a full guide on Ken Masters. Over 20 minutes long, we're gonna build up his game plan, starting in neutral in his anti-airs, building it up with all of his normals, all of his specials, supers, drive rush, drive impact, punishes, anything you can think of, I got you. So give it a thumbs up, and let's take this full screen, all right? All right, start off the guide in the neutral position. Ken is a very quick character who has these fireballs to control neutral. He also has a uh, run stop, so he can run at people and pressure them. He also has a good dash, good walk speed. So he's a jack of all trades with different mix-up options built in from his special moves. He's a deceptive character with a lot of space control. Now talking about space control, this medium kick dominates neutral. This has a lot of range, almost goes half screen. And you can easily confirm that into another medium kick heavy kick, his target combo, and that'll knock him down. If people block this, they eat some drive uh, gauge damage, and it's minus 5, so you're completely safe if you space it well. The thing is that uh, if somebody drive impacts, you're going to get crushed. So it's important in neutral to not just use medium kick, but also mix in the stand heavy punch and crouching medium kick. Because those two buttons are special cancelable, meaning you can also special cancel into your drive impact. Here Ryu uh, crushes our stand medium kick. But if he does that to our stand heavy punch, we can mash drive him with ourselves and put a lot of damage on him. Same deal for a crouching medium kick. If you throw that out in neutral and somebody mashes drive impacts, you will be in time to recover. You can punish them for a lot of damage. There we go, almost 3000. So in neutral, use that medium kick. Also be mindful and use your heavy punch and your crouching medium kick. A little further away you use these fireballs and what you'll see happening is that uh, people are going to be jumping. And if they jump at you, you have this Shoryuken, forward down forward punch, fully air invincible or your crouching heavy punch, a pretty good uh, anti-air normal to use if people jump at you and they won't jump at you once or twice, they're gonna jump at you five times per round, guaranteed. Now, if you anti-air them a lot and throw a lot of these fireballs and a lot of medium kick, people will start blocking. And if you see that they become passive, you can either run stop at them or you can use your dragon lash kick. Forward, down, forward, heavy kick. If people block that, you're gonna be plus in their face. You can also use your run into the kick. We'll look into that later. But you have a lot of tools to punish people who are scared of your fireballs. You can also drive rush in of course from crouching medium kick or just raw. You have different options because Ken is so fast and if you throw them, you will put them in a throw loop. So you can keep punishing people for being passive. So they'll have to be running at you or jumping at you and then he has his game plan right. He has his fireballs and he has his uppercut. Some in-game footage here to punish on Cammy with the medium kick, medium kick, heavy kick. Uh, there's the anti-air fireball. There she gets punished for mashing. <laughs> and there she's trying to throw tech. And that is a shimmy and that is a perfect knockout. Forget about all the combos. It's more about the space control. Uh, where I am on the screen. About, um, let's say, one-fifth away from him. Throwing these fireballs. And just anticipating him to drive rush in or jump in. And I can punish both options. Here we go. They'll put him in a corner. Now we can throw him, throw loop, but I won't be going in again. Just leave some room for him to jump out. There's the uppercut again. And then a low check into the uppercut. And that crouching light kick is a great starter if you look at his normals and his links. So that's a natural bridge to the next chapter. His crouching light punch and his stand light punch, both four frame options. The fastest button in the game. They combo into each other. And his crouching light punch is even plus 5 on hit. Meaning it can also go into his stand light kick and his stand medium punch. So crouching light punch is something you want to be landing, right? Get your combo started from a 4 frame button. Now crouching light kick is also really good because it hits low. We just saw me use that against Jamie. So a string you want to be practicing is crouching light kick, crouching light punch, standing light kick into a special move. People need to respect that, they need to block there, and if they do block, you can start throwing people, because all these buttons leave cannon throw range. 
Next up is medium punch. This is a five framer, very quick for a medium. It's special cancelable, so you can go into fireballs or other options. And it's also part of his backbone combo structure, his medium punch, heavy punch, target combo. Which is also special cancelable into any special move you want. It leaves people into a juggle state and you can go into your run, into your maximum damage combos. We'll look into those later. Now is Crouching Medium Kick, 6 frame startup, Crouching Medium Punch, also 6 frame startup, both of them special cancelable, so those are really good tools to use as well in his neutral. Stand Heavy Punch is the star of the show in my opinion, this is a great punish tool, lots of range, special cancelable, safe on block, great to drive rush in, really good button. Crouching Heavy Punch is more of an anti-air and an advanced combo tool, because you can go into the run stop. Like I'm showing here, this is pretty difficult to do, so you don't really need that yet. Start with Heavy Punch. And there is his Heavy Kick. This is very slow, this is jumpable and you can drive impact it, but uh, if it punishes somebody you get a crush counter, right? It puts people into a float state, you can go into the run, and then either go into Uppercut or Dragon Lash. And his Crouching Heavy Kick is his Sweep, which is pretty good for an 8-framer. So now we know our normals and our links, let's have a look at his special moves. This is his uh, Hadouken, it's really good in this game. Only 12 frames start up. And up close you can use it as a block string ender once in a while, just make sure you use the light one, that's minus 7. But don't use it too much, if you expect somebody to punish that, you can use your OD version. It leaves you at minus 2, which is safe. And in the corner, after a juggle, you can even go into a heavy punch uppercut to finish the juggle. Next up is this Tatsumaki, quarter circle back kick. Uh, the light version can go into a medium uppercut from close range, but from a little further like this, you see it doesn't juggle as high, so you cannot get the uppercut. So you have to see how you space it. The medium one has a great, great knockdown. You can also get it from lights. If you dash twice and press your medium punch, you will counter hit any button that they pull, uh, that they press on wake up. And his heavy kick toss, so you dash up once and you can press your heavy punch and then go into a combo. There we go. Now the OD uh, uppercut still fully invincible in this game, so that it goes through all attacks. And his OD Tatsu is more of a combo finisher, has good corner control. And you can even use this after the non-cinematic level 3 super to press him towards the corner. We'll look into those supers later. Now his Dragon Lash, we already saw this. Uh, the heavy version is plus 1 on block. So if somebody is becoming passive, you can use that heavy Dragon Lash kick to put yourself in their face, in throw range at plus 1. Really good. If it happens to hit somebody, you're plus 3. On counter hit, you can even combo. So that's all really good. There's just a large gap between using the button and the heavy Dragon Lash. People can mash out of it or press Drive Impact. So it's important to also sometimes use your OD Fireball or your Light Dragon Lash. Because if they press a button, you can actually stop them from pressing that button by using a different special. So you can condition people to keep blocking. Oops. <laughs> and if they do block, you can use the heavy Dragon Lash to put yourself into a plus one situation and just loop your offense. So this is something you can be practicing if you're, a new play if you're a new player, just crouching light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, and then the heavy dragon lash and just loop that for a while. To get a feel of how that move works. Now, next up is his Jinrai kick. Uh, this is a pretty advanced tool. This uh, Jinrai kick has three different follow-ups. It can go into a light, which hits low. It can go into a medium, which hits overhead. And the heavy one is a launcher. Now, this is something you should be using mostly in a corner. This is a combo tool, in my opinion. Because on hit, you don't really get a combo. There's also a big gap. If somebody blocks the Jindrai kick and you go into a follow-up, you are very susceptible to being hit. So you want to use this in a corner. If you use the quarter circle forward light kick, you can go into a medium uppercut. And if you use the quarter circle forward medium kick, you can go into the heavy uppercut. So that does more damage, 
But the timing on the medium one is more finicky, so I advise you to just stick to the light kick first. So quarter circle forward light kick, then forward heavy kick, get the medium uppercut, and then whiff the medium punch and press the medium punch again. You'll frame trap any action that they use in between. A little frame kill, we'll look into that in the tech section. Now the OD version will allow you to go into another Jinrai medium. This is pretty difficult to do, you see me whiff it a couple of times. Here we go, OD into the heavy kick, into a medium. Yeah, and we get the heavy uppercut, so that's max damage. Here we go. What you can also do is the forward medium kick in the corner. That'll uh, put him in a bounce state, and you can get a heavy uppercut there. You can even get the OD Dragon Lash for max damage. It does uh, take him out of the corner, but if you can kill like that, it's a good option to have. Now you can use that Jinrai kick in block strings, but I'm not really a fan of doing this. I think this is kind of scrubby. The gap there is really big and uh, both against people who know what they're doing are gonna punish you and people who are just mashing are, go are gonna punish you. So it's not really good. Let's have a look at the run. If you press two kick buttons at the same time, Ken starts running. And he has three different actions from that. He can go into the light kick, which is a run stop. Into the medium kick, which is an overhead. Or the heavy kick, which is a forward kick. Which is cancelable into any of his, uh, his three supers. So that's a really good combo ender. Because it has a lot of flexibility. If he goes to his uppercut from the run, you'll see him get uh, these fire sparks, right? Those will increase his damage from the uppercuts. He can also go into the Tatsu, which increases his uh, corner carry. Or into his uh, Dragon Lash. And the Dragon Lash will side switch and will juggle them. So you can go into a heavy uppercut there. Or into any super. There's the Tatsu. And there's the Dragon Lash. Max damage from that. Good stuff. Just know that you want to go into the run after they're in a float state. And you get the float state by doing medium punch, heavy punch, the target combo. Now crouching heavy punch, if you use this in uh, drive rush combos or punish combos, you can run stop, you'll be plus 7. And you can go into his crouching light punch or his stand medium punch for nice combos. You saw that in the introduction combo. Uh, that's pretty advanced to do. You don't really need that. You might as well go into the heavy punch. So heavy punch, drive rush, heavy punch. Medium punch, heavy punch. That's a good punish. Alright, let's have a look at counter hit. So, I thought you the string, right? Crouching light kick, crouching light punch, stand light kick into a special, right? So if people mash in between there, you get a counter hit. You can just finish the combo and just know that your string worked, right? So that's good. That's about 1200 damage. But if you're really expecting them to mash a lot, you could go into your crouching medium punch, which opens up this combo routes. It does more damage and it gets you a better knockdown. You can now go into your medium tatsu for example. Pretty good. Now the heavy punch on counter hit allows you to go into your light kick for a combo from pretty pretty far away. Medium punch counter hit into the medium punch heavy punch target combo. Pretty good. You can go into the crouching medium. Pretty good. Since your crouching medium kick is only 6 frame startup, that now counter hit combos from both his light punch and crouching light punch. That's pretty useful to know. And if you're crouching heavy punch counter hits, you can drive right, uh, you can uh, run in and you can get the more advanced combos there. Now, you'll see a lot of delay tekken in this game. Uh, if you step back, you can use your heavy punch as a counter. You can go into your crouching medium punch, you can go into your crouching medium kick. Or you can just drive rush in and spend some bar there and make sure that you're actually hitting people. That heavy punch is so good. Look at that. Look at the damage output. There we go. Almost 3300 damage. I advise you to use this one. This is what I'm using. That This does 200 less damage, but it's a lot more uh, secure because it always hits. So you see me use it in-game here against Jamie. He whiffs the throw. I'm doing heavy punch, drive rush, heavy punch, medium punch, heavy punch, and to the run uppercut. Nice. 
So that's a natural bridge to the next chapter, Drive Rush and Drive Impacts. Uh, Ken is not that amazing from Drive Rush, honestly. Uh, you can use his Crouching Light Kick or his Crouching Medium Punch because those buttons are both plus on block. Um, the Crouching Light Kick is plus 5 on hit, plus 1 on block. And his Crouching Medium Punch is plus 7 on hit and plus 4 on block. So you can throw if they block it and on hit you can get a combo. So his Crouching Light Kick can go into his Crouching Light Punch or immediately into his Stand Medium Punch, which is kind of a commitment. Something like that. And his Crouching Medium Punch, that'll leave you at plus 7. So that's a lot more time to actually confirm the hit into his Medium Punch, Heavy Punch target combo. Some light options here. Doesn't do that much damage, but maybe I'm spoiled because I played Marissa before this. Crouching Medium Punch leaves you at plus 7, so more time to confirm and you can go into the Medium Punch Heavy Punch and now the damage is getting a bit more respectable at 26400. 2900 even if you go into the Dragon Lash. Now there's the Heavy Punch I showed you already, Heavy Punch, Drive Rush, Heavy Punch and then your target combo into the Run Uppercut or the Run Dragon Lash. Same for Crouching Medium Kick, if you Drive Rush that, you have to go into Crouching Medium Punch, not Heavy Punch. So you sacrifice a bit of damage, but it's still pretty good. Now from Drive Impact, mid-screen, you can do the same, just go into your target combo, into the run, into the uppercut. But what is better to do is actually go into the jump, into the Heavy Punch, that'll put him in the same juggle. And now you can go into the Run Dragon Lash, and that's uh, 3140 damage, that's good. I even advise you to spend some super meter there because uh, it's not that heavily scaled. So if you go into a super here, you'll get uh, 3500, 3900 or 4200, depending on which super you spend. Now in the corner you can get a little more even. You can go into the jump, uh, heavy punch, into the heavy jindrai, heavy follow up into the heavy dp, that's good. If you wall splat them you can get the crouching heavy punch into the heavy jindrai follow up. You don't have time to jump there. Alright, so now we got normals, we got specials, we got links, we got combos. It's time to have a look at his supers. And I think his supers are pretty flexible. Uh, the light one, it switches sides and leaves you very, very far away from the opponent. So I'm not a really a fan of this, but it does have the invincibility. You can use it after a Dragon Lash, you can use it after the run into the Heavy Kick. Because all supers go from there. Work with me, please. There we go. Just look how far you are away from them. And it takes them out of the corner. So you don't want to use that in the corner. Here as well. Look, taking them out of the corner. Not great. His level 2 is more flexible. You can uh, get that from light buttons. Something like that. Does a bit more damage as well, of course. This also cancels from a lot of EX moves. And it's really fast, it's only 6 frame startup, so you can get it from uh, Jinrai juggles as well, even the light juggle. And as you see, it leaves them in the corner, so if you got somebody in the corner you want to spend super, make sure to spend your level 2 or level 3 super there. There, it also cancels from the run into the heavy kick, you can even get it from a OD fireball, you can also get it, which is not in this video, you can also get it from the light tatsu juggle. Now his level 3 super is the animated one. You can get this from uh, light buttons of course, you can get this from all of his juggles, his medium punch, heavy punch juggle. You can get it from the uh, dragon lash kick, the run dragon lash, probably optimal damage. You can get it from the run uppercut. You can also get it from all normal uppercuts as well. And that's where things get a little bit more tricky. Because if your opponent is in a juggle state and you go into the uppercut, you will no longer get an animated version. So here you see he's still in a juggle and I'm not uppercutting, I'm going to the raw, the raw super here. That's an animated one, a lot of damage. But if you, end, if you have a juggle and then go into an uppercut, uh, be aware that you're not getting the animated super. You'll get this. this you can follow it up with a heavy DP. Or when uh, we saw an OD Tatsu already that you can use. You can even use the OD Dragon Lash here for more damage. 
but at the end of the day you're spending more resources and you get less damage so that's not great there's the od tatsu as a finisher good corner carry but not great let's have a look at some tech and my computer here is overheating so you see it stutter a little bit slowing down <laughs> Uh, what you can do after a throw in a corner, what I like to do is go in into a drive rush heavy punch because on block you're plus two and if you throw them immediately they can't really escape there, you can throw them and on hit you can get a big combo going. So they can't really mash there. So there's nothing they can do basically, they have to guess twice between strike and throw if you use the drive rush there. If you have any more tech please leave it in the comments, uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you in the next one alright, enjoy this character, thanks for watching, peace.